A wicked man went to a Walmart store where families were shopping with their loved ones. He shot and murdered 20 people and injured 26 others, including precious little children. Then, in the early hours of Sunday morning, Dayton, Ohio, another twisted monster opened fire on a crowded downtown street. He murdered nine people, including his own sister, and injured 27 others. The First Lady and I join all Americans in praying and grieving for the victims, their families, and the survivors. These barbaric slaughters are an assault upon our communities, an attack upon our nation, and a crime against all of humanity. What is that problem? Can you even put your finger on it, Donald Trump? I am Keith Landy, your happy healer for president, and I am dead serious, just as all of us are on this issue, except for I see what the problem exactly is. I approach that problem with humility, and I know that dealing with that problem is going to take courage, and I'm ready to deal with the problem in a way that will actually deal with the problem that's causing it, the underlying problem, the problem of humanity. What is that problem? Can you even put your finger on it? Your happy healer can. That is the question. And I really don't think that you can based on the answers that you are giving us. This sounds like you're just giving in to the times that you feel that you need to give in to, but rather that this issue will take a real leader. Somebody who's not just going to turn on the freedoms the very moment times get tough, but rather instead deals precisely with the issue at hand, deals with the problem that's causing it, the underlying problem, the problem of humanity, and your fixes are scary, sir. They are scary. Because when, you put, because when you put your hand on the real problem, which is lack of freedoms, which is lack of people mattering in this society, when you put your hand on the real problem, and you can actually touch it, you know that it's greed. You know it. You know it with all of your heart that it's greed. And all you do is do everything but fix that. They say that Americans are great at trying everything before doing the final thing that actually solves the issue. But here's the problem with this one, my fellow Americans. If we don't address the problem that is causing mass shootings, it's not the only area we suffer, for the mass shootings are just a symptom of a greater issue. That greater issue is also affecting many other things. Greed. That greed is causing humanity to lose itself. It's the reason for our civil war. Folks, we are in a civil war. What you are acknowledging happening now are the opening follies of that civil war. It's only going to get worse. Mark it on your calendar the day that Happy Healer Keith Landy has told you the truth because times are not going to get easier and the more you take rights from the humanity in America and you lack to put humanity above that greed, above capitalism, taking care of their rights as human beings, taking care of their needs as human beings in 2019, it is the only way to go in the age of robotics and artificial intelligence. It's already upon us and you do everything but address the actual problem. That is why we have scary times ahead, but it doesn't need to be like that sir taking more rights away from the american people is not the way to answer the grave threats of our time indeed that is how we race into scarier times we are outraged and sickened by this monstrous evil the cruelty the hatred the malice the bloodshed and the terror our hearts are shattered for every family whose parents children Husbands and wives were ripped from their arms and their lives. America weeps for the fallen. We are a loving nation, and our children are entitled to grow up in a just, peaceful, and loving society. Together, we lock arms to shoulder the grief. We ask God in heaven to ease the anguish of those who suffer, and we vow to act with urgent resolve. I want to thank the many law enforcement personnel who responded to these atrocities with the extraordinary grace and courage of American heroes. Terrible, terrible thing. The shooter in El Paso posted a manifesto online consumed by racist hate. 
In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America. Hatred warps the mind, ravages the heart, and devours the soul. But President Trump, you should know all about that hate. It's you who stokes that hate when it works for you. And then when problems happen, you want to step away from it and say that that's the problem, that we're all just hating too much. Remember, folks, it's Donald Trump who wins in the hate the most. And we just can't be forgetful of that fact. If we want to get away from the hate, the way to do that is to start acting with love and to put humanity above capitalism to actually address the issue why people feel like they don't matter in America. And if you don't give people a reason for living, well, unfortunately then, this is what comes out of not mattering. People, they really act out when they feel like they don't matter. And so many people in America are feeling like they don't matter right now. It's so sad. It doesn't have to be that way. We have asked the FBI to identify all further resources they need to investigate and disrupt hate crimes and domestic terrorism, whatever they need. Whatever they need. So I hope you understand what that means. That means Donald Trump is unleashing the American legal system on the American individual because we are now considered terrorists. Any one of us could be a mass terrorist, especially if you are white, even if you are a kind, loving individual, that your freedom of speech can be considered terrorism and that you will be punished accordingly. Remember, all of that comes with going against American freedoms and it doesn't solve the real issue, which is the greed, which is the American does not matter, more so now than ever before. And think about it, if they did not matter before and they are mattering less now, that only makes the breeding ground for terrorism in America that much greater. And I contend that moving forward, and it is by no fault of anyone that is not in power and has been controlling the laws of our country instead, it is the American spirit. I contend she is so sick and has been ignored for so long and that if we continue doing this and going down this road and this path, it leads to more destruction and it leads to an America where all of us are less safe. And so instead of fixing the actual problem, of course, they just go after what for them is easier to do. And that is to take more rights away from us, the people. And so that is supposed to fix the problem. We're never supposed to actually trust each other. Just take more freedoms away from each other. And you have been seeing so much of that. It's been going on for so long. And Trump, he's no different. Many of us have felt that he would be the different one. And he is just giving in and doing the wrong thing. Humanity has never mattered less in America than now. And this has been a problem for a long time. We must recognize that the internet has provided a dangerous avenue to radicalize, disturb minds, and perform demented acts. We must shine light on the dark recesses of the internet and stop mass murders before they start. So if it wasn't enough that our freedoms are already under attack by this president in so many ways, we also get to lose our freedom of internet. You know, I take my freedom of speech very seriously and well, it'll soon be that the American can't even speak freely and openly online. You can't speak freely and openly. You can't express yourself. You can't talk. Safe spaces have made it impossible to talk. You can't address issues that we're all dealing with. The elephant in the room just has to remain the quiet subject and you expect things to go well. I don't see it like that. I'm sorry, I don't see it like that. I see it that we are headed in towards the times that we could never imagine in America. No matter what the intentions are, the effect. It reminds me as if National Socialism Germany has just arrived on America's doorstep. We already knew in many ways that it was already here with the Democratic Party, but now it is here with the Republican Party as well through Trump. And while many of us have already known that, now you do too. And while I am running as a Democrat because I believe in health care for all, and income for all and education that starts young and never ends and in happiness and to build up the human character and value and to be able to build happiness in humanity to be able to lift us up in the right way and to subdue all of the hell that we have been going through they don't listen to that instead they're taking us down this path remember mark my words it doesn't fix anything that's the problem it just doesn't fix anything these problems will continue remember oh, how dare they do that to us? It's like this, it's like this. Remember, it only took box cutters 
in 12 men who did not speak with an American dialect, who were not Americans, that caused 9-11, where thousands died, and by far the most egregious terrorist attack on American land. And yet, we seem to have learned nothing. After that attack, it was called upon Americans to be themselves, and to be strong, and to continue shopping, and to continue being Americans. And who would think that 18 years later that we would be against the very ideals that makes America, America? The freedoms that indeed keeps us safe and keeps us whole. That is America, and we have gotten away from that for some time now. And to get further away from that only spells doom for our people. And we have to be careful, folks. Some people want this. The internet, likewise, is used for human trafficking, illegal drug distribution, and so many other heinous crimes. The perils of the internet and social media cannot be ignored, and they will not be ignored. In the two decades since Columbine, our nation has watched with rising horror and dread as one mass shooting has followed another over and over again, decade after decade. That's right, decade after decade, and all we ever had to do was take care of the American people and put stock in them. And to show the humanity in America, the richest country in the world, the American exceptionalism that is every day eroding, just invest in them, and we have failed to do that. We have virtually invested in every other aspect of America. America corporatism, they're billionaires, but not the American people. And they are the ones who encompass the American spirit, as well as the American exceptionalism that you are eroding. So stop that, please. We can do so much better, and we will under a happy healer presidency. And if times like now have not showed you that we need a happy healer for this country, well, perhaps future times when this continues to happen in our country like it has been happening, we'll even make that more clear. Because we need a happy healer in these grave times of America. We need to show that love matters and that greed can just go away. We cannot allow ourselves to feel powerless. We can and will stop this evil contagion. In that task, we must honor the sacred memory of those we have lost by acting as one people. Open wounds cannot heal if we are divided. I agree. That is why we need unity. That is why I have been talking about unity from day one in my campaign. And I have a plan to achieve it. You better believe it because when you put humanity above capitalism and when your very nature of running is all about bringing this country together, then you know that you're about unity. The kind of unity that you, sir, will never be able to provide the people because you have already alienated half of America's people. Do you see how these kinds of shootings under your leadership, sir, will only continue to develop? and even get worse and not just shootings but all kinds of death and despair and the sad part is that no matter which democrat you're talking about other than yours truly it's the same problem it's either one side or it's the other it's the trap that they intended for us to be in that we are currently in but with your happy healer for president we get away from all of that and we go for unity in the way that matters the most we have supporters on the right supporters on the left and that's something i have always been so proud of we will continue to get supporters on both sides because we are your unity campaign i am your unity candidate and this country needs unity and it needs a happy healer for president so you better believe that when we campaign and we run our campaign in a way that brings unity to america and makes it real for our people well then that's how it serves our people doesn't it the very unity that has forsaken us under this leadership under the leadership of the democratic party and the republican party all are in it together and it seems to be aligned against the american individual and in our campaign we are doing it differently you put forward your happy healer and we'll do different than any other campaign has done before we will put humanity above capitalism and we will fix the issue that's right we will fix the issue instead of just take away more freedoms we can't just keep taking away our freedoms and expect good things to come out of that especially in the united states of america and take it from your happy healer i am right here with you getting the first-hand view of the experience of their leadership dealt upon the american people and you better believe that it's going to take the purity of somebody who understands the american experience Experience, and it is not President Trump. It is nor is it any of these Democrats. It is your happy healer for president. Some of you already know that, and I admire that, that you understand that it will take somebody from the American experience in the truest sense of the word in order to navigate our entire country out of this mess. Trust in your happy healer, folks. And if it was not for the fact that these times seriously require in the leadership the same ingenuity that the American people have had for all of this time. Let's get to work for the American people as Todd Beamer said in
in 9-11. He was the hero then. Let's roll. Well, I say it now. Let's roll. And let's not take away American freedoms. Let's be bold in the moment. And let's actually address the issue. The elephant in the room. The thing nobody wants to touch. But we must. And I contend we must. The American greed. We must seek real bipartisan solutions. We have to do that in a bipartisan manner that will truly make America safer and better for all. First, we must do a better job of identifying and acting on early warning signs. I am directing the Department of Justice to work in partisan partnership with local, state, and federal agencies, as well as social media companies to develop tools that can detect mass shooters before they strike. Did you hear that? To develop tools that can detect mass shooters before they strike. Because we're getting crazy. Did you hear that? He just said that we have to get with the companies like Facebook and Google. They've already decided who gets free speech. These are your technology companies that they have to now decide. They have already decided who gets the free speech. And if that is not enough, now they get to decide who is going to be the next terrorist like Minority Report. It's almost like they are now trying to play futuristic games on the American people. Tell them who are going to be the terrorists in advance based on algorithms, based on technology. Technology. This is a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous idea, and it's from your hero, Donald Trump. Some of you, you call him your hero. You think that he is going to solve all of our problems, and I just know it's not true. I just know it's not true. We are going to be in this all alone, just alone American who has been so, so responsible for all, all of the American ingenuity, all of the American success that we have experienced, and now that poor American soul is going to be cracked on even harder for longer and we just don't ever touch on the issue that really is causing the problems in the American psyche. Instead, we just take away freedoms. Every time we just take away freedoms, it's not right. And I would never trust Facebook or Google to decide who is going to be the next terrorist. These guys? No way. As an example, the monster in the Parkland High School in Florida had many red flags against him, and yet nobody took decisive action. Nobody did anything. Why not? Second, we must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the gruesome and grisly video games that are now commonplace. It is too easy today for troubled youth to surround themselves with a culture that celebrates violence. We must stop or substantially reduce this, and it has to begin immediately. My fellow Americans, are you hearing what I am hearing? <coughs> My fellow Americans, are you hearing what I'm hearing? <coughs> He's talking about we have to now substantially stop or reduce the violence in video games. This goes directly to your freedoms, and if you don't see that, then you don't deserve to have them. You have a choice in this election. We can either address the issue that is really causing all of these problems, or we can be weak and we can ignore the elephant in the room that it is greed. That these people that are acting this way, they are actually screaming out. We live in a world where we don't matter. We all know it's true. We have to start mattering, and we have to start caring about one another, and we have to write it into our laws. And and for Donald Trump to act so weak now, we know it's weakness he's acting out of because strength wouldn't allow this kind of action. Cultural change is hard, but each of us can choose to build a culture that celebrates the inherent worth and dignity of every human life. That's what we have to do. Third, we must reform our mental health laws to better identify mentally disturbed individuals. Oh yeah, and what if it's just individuals who are disturbed by the actions they see in this country that is not serving the humanity, and, well, are they also going to be then classified as mentally disturbed? Who may commit acts of violence and make sure those people not only get treatment, but when necessary, involuntary confinement. Oh, there it is, so the answer is yes then. Good, thank you for answering that. Mental illness and hatred pulls the trigger, not the gun. 
think about that. Mental illness and hatred pulls the trigger, not the gun, but yet it is he and the people he puts forth that decides who has the mental illness. It's very comforting to know that. And that when they decide you have this mental illness, that they want to be able to lock you up. Mm, wow, now we're really seeing the Donald Trump that, well, many of us knew was in there just, well, coming out now, don't we? And the Democrats don't offer a better solution on this at all. They have already been going down this road for quite a while. And we have to really err with caution on this issue, my American brothers and sisters. We love our freedoms. We wouldn't recognize this country anymore if we let these guys continue to go in this direction. So I implore upon you, support your happy healer for president. I'm not running just because I want your power. I could care less! Give it to somebody else if it was just for that. But it's because we have great issues in our time and we have to answer those issues and they don't want to recognize that every time they discount the American dream they discount the American exceptionalism and they discount the American the individual that they cause these problems because that American individual expects so much more at this time in life because we deserve it we know it the American exceptionalism we have to put humanity above capitalism folks I keep saying this because it's so true and because that's how you put into law that humanity matters and that you just show it every day and what this country needs right now is a happy healer i am that happy healer for president and i implore upon you to think about our freedoms to think about our future and when you do consider what all of the candidates are offering myself included and you can find out more at www.happyhealerforpresident.com and that's an F-O-R and you compare us. What are we talking about? Where do we stand on the issues? What have we been saying this whole time? And then you decide who is most on truth, who can best serve the American people in this great time of need. And then you decide whether a happy healer is what this country needs as I contend it is or whether what we need is less trust, less freedoms, more hate because that's what they offer how far be it for donald trump to talk about this country needing less hate he is the hate monger and all of the democrats are also hate mongering they're following him right down the path of hate he wins in that path but your happy healer takes it to a path of love and strength and that's why we are going to win and that's why i am going to be your next president and that is also why we get to keep our freedoms and address the issues head on exactly what they are Fourth, we must make sure that those judged to pose a grave risk to public safety do not have access to firearms, and that if they do, those firearms can be taken through rapid due process. That is why I have called for red flag laws, also known as extreme risk protection orders. Today, I'm also directing the Department of Justice to propose legislation ensuring that those who commit hate crimes and mass murders face the death penalty and that this capital punishment be delivered quickly, decisively, and without years of needless delay. These are just a few of the areas of cooperation that we can pursue. I am open and ready to listen and discuss all ideas that will actually work and make a very big difference. Republicans and Democrats have proven that we can join together in a bipartisan fashion to address this plague. Last year, we enacted the Stop School Violence and Fix NICS Acts into law, providing grants to improve school safety and strengthening critical background checks for firearm purchases. At my direction, the Department of Justice banned bump stocks last year we prosecuted a record number of firearms offenses. But there is so much more that we have to do. Now is the time to set destructive partisanship aside, so destructive, and find the courage to answer hatred with unity, devotion, and love. Our future is in our control. America will rise to the challenge we will always have, and we always will, win. The choice is ours, and ours alone. It is not up to mentally ill monsters. It is up to us. If we are able to pass great legislation after all of these years, 
We will ensure that those who were attacked will not have died in vain. May God bless the memory of those who perished in Toledo. May God protect them. May God protect all of those from Texas to Ohio. May God bless the victims and their families. May God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Whenever Trump says rapid due process, I want you to think of the fire and the Reichstag. It was in 1934. And this is when Hitler had his decree that took away all freedoms. So I just want you to keep that in mind and that it's always the fear that caused people to go away from their freedoms. We have learned through history that when one trades freedom for security, they end up with neither freedom nor security. So please follow our campaign. There is another way. We have pinpointed the problem for this issue and so many others. This is just the beginning. We are going to solve the problem because we know that it is not guns. If it was guns, it would have been going on for so much longer. America has been a gun wielding nation for a long time. However, the these mass shootings are a relative new phenomena in the American experience. The reason they are happening is because humanity doesn't matter anymore and that people just feel that and they have nothing else to lose. I've been talking about this for so long as your happy healer and now it is just coming true. We have to have people that are courageous, that put their finger on the problem, and don't do other things to make the American experience even worse. Because what comes out of that is not the solution for these problems. That wrong stuff they're doing is just going to go bad, and the fact is, that won't go away. Once they take these freedoms, they don't come back, and the problems still persist so that they take more freedoms. Should they take enough of our freedoms? Well, many people feel already we don't have a life worth living. I'm fearful to say what will come out of it. And should the American people People become so subdued that through taking freedoms they solve these issues what will that American society look like surely not one your happy other ones and well it's starting to look a lot more like Nazi Germany in America it doesn't have to be this way folks I just wish we could all come together and do what was right in the time that it is right to do it now is that time. Come together and let's do this for America. She is hurting. She is in pain. Dig deep now and let's together fight for a future worth living. Okay, folks, and that's it. I like this opportunity to be able to show the differences between what Donald Trump is currently doing and how he is reacting to this tragedy, the multiple tragedies. The tragedy in general of the shootings around America has been just a larger symptom of the overall tragedy in America that the individual has lost its value. And so we have to get back to taking care of humanity like we had never had before, really, and to do it right. And it's gonna take a happy healer to get that work done. So let's get serious about who we put in power so that we can get that work done. God bless you, and may God bless our great country too, especially our freedoms in this time.